Yo, yo, welcome or welcome back to Fats TV. Back with another reaction for that AZZ. Hope everybody's feeling wonderful, feeling great as always. What up, YouTube? Okay, so most deaf is back. I guess to clear up the comments he made about Drake being a target musician. Nah, what did he say? He said it's like aggressive shopping or some shit. And he was not hip hop. But that's his preference. That's his opinion. Well, let's see what he's back to say. Drake, if you would like to speak to me directly, you can at any point. I reached out to Chappelle. I actually reached out to you. I DM'd you. You are a very talented MC. Uh, but for me, I require more of myself and others than just talent or charm or charisma, particularly in times of urgent crisis. And what I would like to see in terms of creators or creative people in the world as it relates to our culture is for people to connect with us beyond the jukebox. It was not an opportunity to try to slander him or to clown on him. Um, I have reached out to him. I have no responses yet, but uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not keen to talk about people uh, or to them through a screen. I prefer to talk to people directly. That's cause Drake about to put you in his next diss record. Just keep listening, it's coming. Um, but I will say this, the young man is very talented. He's been able to be very successful with that talent. And I have no issue with his success or, or anything that he's been able to uh, achieve as a result of his talent. Um, I do feel that some of the criticism that he's received in the past has been mean-spirited and unfair. So, I don't want to participate in that. And if I was perceived to be harsh or mocking or taunting, that is not my intention. And Drake, if you're watching or if you, if you, you come across this, that is not my intention, brother. I've never had no issue with you personally. I don't know you well enough to even have any sort of issue with you in that regard. Nonetheless, it's not sacrilegious to have a critique or an opinion of a public figure, particularly one Facts. of that magnitude as big as Drake in, in current modern culture. Um, it was a question that I was asked, and I answered it as earnestly and as diplomatically as I possibly could. Uh, Forgive my Brooklyn. Well, Drake has to forgive you. But don't be most deaf. You the OG, man. You the MC lyrical OG from the originator of when they started really disliking the backpack. Y'all came in. Y'all was the backpack rappers. Y'all was loved. Y'all was hated. You allowed to have a critique. You an OG, man. You a legend. You are allowed to critique the, the, the younger rappers coming up after you that's getting in this game. You know what I'm saying? And telling the truth ain't hating. You know, and if it's not telling the truth, that's your truth. That's your opinion. You're allowed to have it. If you feel like, hey, man, you're not hip-hop. Because hip-hop doesn't have anything to do with your success. He is, it's just because he's saying, do you feel like, he was asked the question. It ain't like he just went out of his way to talk about Drake. Right? He said, hey, my opinion is not hip-hop. He's all the above. Keep it funky. He's pop. He's bigger than... I don't know if you want to say bigger than hip-hop because hip-hop is the biggest genre in the world, but pop is popular. He's the most... He's one of the most popular. He's probably more popular than most deaf. He's absolutely more popular than most deaf. But in the game of hip-hop, everybody know who most deaf is. And just because he's saying he's not hip-hop, that doesn't mean successful. Success has nothing to do with it. Drake is probably one of the most, if not the most successful rapper to, to come through. 
you know, whether whatever, however you want to category, put whatever category you want to put them in. Most people put them in hip hop. Most people put them in pop. Most people put them in both. You know, I say he's all the above. He's R and B, hip hop and pop to me. You know, but OG, don't be backpedaling on your, on your statements, man. You was asked a question, man, and you gave an honest answer, man. Your answer, your opinion. He said, I tried to get in touch with him. I hit Chappelle. He, Drake don't want to get in touch with you. You said he was an a, a, a edgy or shopping with an edge. That's you, you said it's tar Target shopping with an edge. He's not hip-hop. I'm pretty sure Drake was probably a little offended because I don't know who he look up to, but you one of the OGs when it comes to the MC and most depth. So I'm pretty sure he looked up to you and liked you, man. I could be wrong, man. And... You know, Drake ain't like that, man. You will be in the next record, man. You will listen for your name. Most deaf, your, your real name, Yusuf, whatever it is. Like, Yasil, Yasi, my bad. I don't want to mess up your your, your, your uh, government name. But you might end up hearing your government name in the next record, Drake record. He don't want to talk to you. You know how they be like, man, y'all old heads be hating your little oldie. Like, old heads hating me. Said I'm Target with an with edge. That was kind of funny, though. That was kind of funny. Shopping with an edge at Target. But that's how you know how... Drake is just universal, man. He's pop. Drake can do it all, man. The boy is super talented. Nobody's taking away that. And just because he's saying he don't believe that he's full hip-hop doesn't mean he ain't talented. Drake is one of the most talented... Brothers, writers, rappers, singers, pop, hip-hop, artists we've ever seen. Ever. And I'm talking about Drake's run is probably longer than... His Drake is almost... Drake run is... he. Lil Wayne had a long, got a long run too. Drake's run is fucking tremendous. Stupendous. He's been on a fucking 20, 30... 20-year run. When did Drake drop? Baby, you the best. Drake been doing it. He's, he's had a long run, B. You know what I'm saying? But, oh, Steph, you the OG, you the legend, man. You ain't got a backpedal. Now, I ain't saying he was backpedaling or nothing, but, uh, shout out to most Def just for wanting to clear it up, man. Get some clarity. Let the young, let you know, let Drake know ain't no animosity, ain't no beef, ain't none of that. You know what I'm saying? I was asked a question. I was getting my opinion, but you know what I mean? Maybe I could have answered it a little bit differently. Maybe I could have answered it with a little more respect. You know what I'm saying? Better than that. It probably could, the, the, my delivery, you know, might have seemed like I was kind of piling on pause with the with the with the Drake slander or the Drake hate or whatever has been going on. Or however, I don't really see it. I only see good things about Drake, but that's me. You know, we in two different. I'm in two different worlds as these guys. Um, far as I know, everybody loved Drake. I, don't, I can't find nobody that night. Only person I ever seen that openly said they ain't like Drake. Rest in peace. That was X. That was the dog. He said he hated everything about Drake. He hated his face. He hated his neck. <laughs> Shout out to the dog, man. Rest in peace to the to the legend, X, man. Rest in peace to the dog, man. But, uh, salute to y'all, man. How y'all feel about this, man? Leave a comment. Let me know if y'all think that most deaf is backpedaling. Or is he just clearing it up? Is he back to just clearing it up? Or do he know that his name is going to be in that next Drake disc record? Hmm. He said, don't make a hit on me like you did on Meek Mill, man. He turned, he, what'd he say? He turned beef records into hits, man. This record, he turned a disc record into a damn hit song, into a hit record. He turned a disc record to a hit record. Shout out to Drizzy Drake, man. But shout out to Most Deaf Man for wanting to um speak to the brother, clear it up, make sure everything was all good. Hey Drake, man, hit him back, man. This is Most Deaf. Why he gotta reach out to you like this? He can nobody can pass Most Deaf the number. Ooh, Drake, see that's how you know Drake on a whole nother level. Like what you? That's how you know he pop. He, he said I hit Chappelle. He had to hit Chappelle, Dave Chappelle. To get, Yo, can you get in touch with Drake for me, dog? Golly, I'm Most Deaf. It should not be this hard. To get in touch with Drake. Chase. That's how you know. Shout out to those guys, though, man. For wanting to get an understanding, though, man. 
That's all love, man. Y'all appreciate y'all for watching this video, man. It's like, share, leave a comment, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel, man. It's Fat Steve, man.